Hey, 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 it's Leona. How you doing? Happy Wednesday. Today on the live, we are going to do a very easy painting project. Can I stress how easy this is? It is so easy. Anyone can do it. You don't need any experience in art at all to do this project. So come and join me. If you're watching on the replay, thank you so much for joining. Please do subscribe to the channel. And if you would like to find out what the project is in advance, please go to my website, artistresource.co.uk forward slash newsletter, and you will be able to sign up and get notified of what the project is. So if you're new here, welcome. I will be looking over here to my laptop, having a look at the chat when people come in the room. It is advised that you do log into a YouTube account and come on in and chat with me because it makes it super, super, super fun. And we're gonna do it all together. And it usually lasts about two hours. I spend the first 10 minutes or so explaining the project, getting all the materials together. And then we go for it step by step, really easy, really slowly, calmly, and have a bit of a good time. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, so we've got here where I'm going to speak to you from here. And then we've also got this lovely overhead camera here. So you can see what I am doing. And this is what we're going to do today. Well, this is a quick sketch of what we're going to do today. Ice cream buds, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing, Craig? Hello, Leona, finally here on time. Oh, yes, come on. <laughs> how have you been? Oh, how have you been? How have you been? We said it at the same time. I've been good, thank you. I've been really good. I'm so excited to come on tonight, even more so than usual, because I'm just really, really looking forward to doing a bit of painting. I've been looking forward to this for the last few days. I want to get doing some painting, come and do some painting with me, do you know what I mean? So yeah, so what we're going to do is we are going to do a very, very simple painting project. This is a sketch for what it's going to look like. Ashley, hi Ashley, how you doing? Welcome. I'm ready. New challenge, not just fitness challenge, right? Yes, I like it. Come on, you know you can do it. This is so easy. Like, have you had any art experience before? If you haven't, it really, really doesn't matter. This is going to be so simple. What we're going to do is this is a quick sketch of what we're going to do, which is basically a painting that I've designed, which is just based on the word harmony, because I think now that we're all on the lockdown, what we're really, really looking for is some harmony in our lives, some balance, we're all finding new things to do, new ways to express ourselves, and we just wanna be feel balanced, do you know what I mean? So with this painting, what I wanted to do is create something that we could make and look at in our homes and feel really connected to that, so that's kind of like the whole concept behind it. And basically, what it is, as you can see, is the word harmony in the middle. And then we've got the sunshine, which represents the outer strength. And then we've got a lotus flower, which represents our inner strength. So it's the balance, the harmony of the times that we are living in right now. The thing that we have to find, if we haven't found it already, is harmony. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so... Welcome as well if you are not signed into the chat because I can see there's some lovely people on that aren't in the chat. So welcome, welcome. How you doing? Um, I'm going to run through the materials. So like I said, usually the first 10 minutes of this from 7 to 7.10 is me running through the materials and the projects and what we're going to do. So what you will need is... Oh, actually, why don't I go to the other camera? Let's go to this one. So what you will need is you will need a pencil, right? You will need a pencil and you will need something to do your painting on. Now, I have got a piece of very thin card. This is A3 size. I recommend that you do, when you first begin, it's really good to do things really big because it's just a lot easier. When you crunch down and try and do things really small, it's quite hard. So a biggest piece of card is that you've got is really good. And I'm doing it on white, but it really doesn't matter. You can do it on anything you want. We're gonna need a pencil. We are gonna need an eraser. We are gonna need a sharpener. And I always have like a little tray that kind of just collects all the little sharpenings. Cause even though this one has got the sharpenings inside, it always like falls out a little bit. So I just have that. 
Um, it's quite a good idea to have a little bit of scrap paper if you want to do like a little bit of practicing on because if you keep erasing something you're doing like over and over and over again it ends up affecting the quality of the paper so if you want to have a little play and a little practice i would just grab a bit of scrap paper anything you've got lying around and do that and then i'll tell you what i'm going to go over to my other camera here so i'm going to show you the rest on here so you're going to need a ruler and we're not gonna need to measure hardly anything today it's literally one measurement so it doesn't matter if you're using centimeters or inches whatever it doesn't really matter but you need a ruler okay you need something to make a straight line with yes you're also gonna need something circular to draw around Anna oh oh remind me of your name I've forgotten I've forgotten how you doing welcome welcome sorry I didn't send in my art I must confess I didn't have all the materials but this time I do and you will see fantastic remind me of your name I've forgotten because I know it isn't Anna is it so you've got another name using your sister's account was it I can't remember but welcome and yes please do thanks for the reminder please do send in your art to me via one of my socials and guys check this out you can send your artwork to my facebook instagram or twitter at artistresource.co.uk how good is that <gasps> evan that's it joy how you doing welcome welcome how's it going how have you been how's life so yeah so you're gonna need something to draw around right so you're gonna need something circular to draw around so I've just got a bowl here and you want to have something that's just quite a nice size for the sunshine so it doesn't really matter if it's a bowl a cup a small plate I don't really mind whatever you've got Mira hi Mira and Ava and Hector how you doing welcome just had a food delivery so trying to put it all away <gasps> takes forever but we are listening doesn't that simple job that used to take five seconds now takes like a couple of hours or something it's crazy i'm good how are you i'm doing really well i'm really really looking forward to this project it's so nice and easy and simple got such a nice message behind it let me just finish off the materials that we need and then i'll go back to the painting so yes yeah, so you're gonna need your paper your pencil eraser ruler sharpener something circular to draw around a bit of scrap paper if you want to then you're going to need like something to put your paints on so i just have these from my children's parties which is basically just some paper plates but you can use a plastic palette you can use scraps of cardboard i don't really mind whatever you've got and some tissue and if you haven't got any tissue you can just use a cloth that's absolutely fine because tissue is still a bit like gold dust right and then you're gonna need your paint brushes. I have got quite a few here. I recommend you just have a bunch. At a minimum, obviously, you could just have one and that's all fine and well and good. But I would always try and have three at least, like a small, medium and large, because I find that that's just really handy. So you kind of use the medium one for most of the work the large one for kind of like the background stuff and then the small one for any little details so that's my recommendation but it really doesn't matter just whatever you got lying around honestly i don't mind right doesn't matter and then finally oh no no there's one more thing before the finally uh we're gonna need a glass of water or a cup of water i've got mine in a glass jar because i've got lots of technical equipment everywhere <laughs> i don't want to spill my water and i'm sure you don't want to spill your water at whatever desk or tabletop you're working on but especially the fact that i've got so much equipment around i need to have mine with a lid so that i can just keep it closed from time to time and then finally final final thing you're going to need is your paints now I don't mind what paints you use. We're in the lockdown currently, so it really is whatever you've got to hand. I recommend that you use acrylic paint because it's the strongest pigment for the most valuable, valuable price, for the most valued price. You know what I mean. Best price for the value. <laughs> I can't 
don't know what I'm saying. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. So all you're going to need is primary colours and black and white. So I've got some here. There's different brands that I've just kind of picked up. I've, I mean, I've got so many paints in one of my trunks. But um, I've got Windsor & Newton and I've got De La Rowney, And they're just kind of two really good brands that you can use if you're a beginner. And obviously we're doing a beginner's project. So this is perfect. And I'm always teaching beginners. So I recommend using acrylic for this. If you are using acrylic and you might want to like put an apron on or protect your surface because they do stain. So if you don't want to do that and you maybe you've got uh, tempera paints, that's absolutely fine. Maybe you've got poster paints, that's absolutely fine. Maybe you've got gouache paints or gouache paints, that's absolutely fine. Actually, I love, love, love a bit of gouache. Uh, but whatever you've got, it doesn't matter. And equally, if you don't have any paints at all, you can still do this project, right? If you want to just do the drawing of this, you can absolutely just do the drawing. And if you've got some colouring pencils, you can just colour it in with some colouring pencils when we go on to the painting section. So really it is whatever you've got, this is going to work for, right? Whatever, whatever you've got. Okay, so that's all the materials. Is everybody with me? Is everybody with me and ready? Evan, thank you, Evan, Evan. You have to remind me from time to time because otherwise I will just call you Anna. So Evan, Evan, Evan. Uh, yes, so quick recap before we start. This is what we're going to do. It's a very simple painting based on the word harmony. Because we're all currently in lockdown, we're trying to find ways to get balanced. And I didn't want to use the word balance. You can actually, you can do whatever word you like. But I thought harmony is a really beautiful word to symbolise what we're looking for right now, what we're trying to achieve right now. And the sun in the background is representative of, of our uh, outer strength. And the lotus flower here is representative of our inner strength. Because we've got to go within, find the strength to get everything in harmony and balance, right? So I hope you really appreciate that lovely little concept that I've done for today. So shall we get started? <gasps> Jane, hi! Welcome, welcome! You've just missed the explanation and the materials, but you know what it is because I know you got the newsletter. So you're all good. Let's go. Let's start. So I'm going to keep mine. Can you see both things? Oh, just about. Just about. Oh, that'll do. That'll do. All right. Yes, ready. Awesome, awesome. So first things first, I want you to get your circular object, whatever it is, whether it's a bowl, a plate. We've oh, got something on there. Uh, a bowl, a plate, a cup, whatever, and I want you to sort of put it in the middle somewhere. Doesn't really matter. You can even put it sort of over there a bit in the corner if you want. Like, honestly, it doesn't matter. Oh, Jean, hi, welcome. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. So, yeah, you can put it wherever you like. This is a really flexible project. So, I'm going to put mine sort of in the middle, but it might not be in the middle. Um, I want you to press super, super lightly. I'm going to press super, super hard because I want you to see it. But I recommend that every single pencil mark you make is very, very light. Light pressure, okay? Saw it. Now I draw it. Now I saw it. Da, 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 da. So, circle. Let's everyone draw the circle right now. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Make sure that you're working on something. If you're doing the painting with us, Make sure that you're working on something that's thicker than paper. If you're going to just do a drawing of this, you're going to do the drawing and maybe colour it in, then all you need is a little bit of paper, right? Do you know what I mean? That's all you need. Oh, and I'm going to do some shout-outs while you're drawing your circle. Shout-out to my niece, Reninha. How you doing? How's it going? I know that she's doing the drawing. Shout-out to my mum. Hi, mum. I probably think that my mum will do the drawing as well, right? Uh, shout out to Juliet. Hi, Juliet. How are you? Uh, shout out to Ruth. Hi, Ruth. <laughs> and shout out to Patty as well. Hi, Patty. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. So, all right. Has everyone joined their circle? Okay, so now what I want you to do is get your ruler. And I want you... I'm actually going to work in inches today. I don't normally. But I think it's quite good for this project but you could do about two centimeters. So let me explain. Uh, yes, indeed, you did see it and it shall appear on the canvas. Or you could do this on the canvas, right? 
So what I want you to do is I want you to use the thickness of the ruler so we don't actually really have to measure very much at all. And I want you to sort of put it in the middle. I want you to sort of put it at an angle. So we're not gonna have it straight. We're gonna have it a little bit of an angle. I think it kind of looks nice just with the text at a tiny bit of an angle, but if you wanna do it completely straight, you can. Have it a little bit of an angle, and then I want you to find the sort of general center, so your thickness of your ruler is like in the center, and then I want you to just bring it up just a tiny bit. All right, Celeste, welcome, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, you're just in time, perfect timing. Uh, so yeah, ruler just above the center, now, the word harmony, if you're going to do the word harmony along with me, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters, and then I'm going to do an exclamation mark. So I've got eight characters, right? So I want to do about an inch for each letter plus the exclamation mark, right? So I'm going to use inches. You can use centimeters, like I said, about two, two and a half centimeters each. And all I'm going to do, you're going to press lightly, I'm pressing hard, is I'm going to sort of put that in the center as much as I can. And I'm going to draw a line above. Oh, oh, don't move it, don't move it. <laughs> hold it in the middle, Leona, hold it in the middle. And then I'm going to draw a line underneath, right? So what you've got is something that's looking a little bit like i don't know like a planet almost are you doing this every wednesday yes every wednesday at 7 pm yes 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 so we've got that so let me know that you're all good and that you've done that right so we've got if you muck it up a little bit it doesn't matter do you know what i mean i'm gonna hold on to where hold on to your ruler <laughs> <laughs> hold on to your ruler <laughs> so you've got something like that right so what i'm gonna do is i am gonna divide this up into eight inches so i'm just gonna make a mark every inch right like this every inch going across like this okay so all we're going to do, basically what we're doing is we're breaking down this word into blocks. So we've got an inch for each letter, right? Does that make sense? Let me know if that doesn't make sense to you. But we've got an inch block. Celeste, can you give a shout out to me? I just did. Celeste, welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome. So, uh, yeah, so we've got eight. So what I want you to do is below that is just mark off exactly the same is mark off eight, make mark off each inch, or if you're doing centimeters, like two and a half, is it two and a half centimeters an inch? I don't know, something like that. It can it doesn't have to be perfect. Last week we did this really fun gift box project, but you had to be so specific, and I think this week. We're like just letting all that go and we're just like, let's just not worry about it. it. Doesn't have to be specific. It's just easy breezy. Do we write the letters in the line? Yeah, we're gonna do that, but we just need to make sure when you're doing lettering, lettering is quite tough. So what I wanted to do is make a really, really, really simple way to do it. So what I want you to do now is I want you to mark off a line for each letter, right? So you're marking off a little block. Now remember, you guys, you are pressing super lightly. Super, super lightly. Mine isn't going to no way look as good as all yours are going to look. Because I'm pressing hard. And if you've done any classes with me in the past, you know that if you press too hard, you kind of end up getting it underneath like the paint. And it just doesn't look that great. So... Here we are, this is what you should end up with, right? So we're gonna do H-A-R-M-O-N-Y and an exclamation mark. Easy breezy, Craig is on it. <laughs> it's so easy 
Did I mention it was easy? Did I mention this was an easy project? <laughs> doing it. Doing it, doing it. So you ready for the next bit? Can anyone guess what the next bit is? Right, the next bit is you've got to just mark off. Now I would do, you can measure this, right? So you can measure this distance if you want and find the exact center. But I think it should just be a little bit more than half. So I want you to draw a line going all the way through, which is just a little bit above half from the bottom so all we've got is we've all we've done is a grid and i tell you what this is the only only tiny technical bit of anything you're going to do in this whole project don't you even worry about it i'm having a sausage roll for dinner what are you having for dinner i already had my dinner and i actually had not that i usually really like linda mccartney stuff but i had a linda mccartney vegetarian duck thingy stir fry with some peppers and some rice and it was really nice and I added loads of spices to it thank you for asking <laughs> uh, or too lightly you cut off the side of the box I'm sorry Gina I just saw your message <laughs> yeah <laughs> look I'm just gonna say you've got to you've got to go lightly with this right you've got to go lightly <laughs> I can't say not to do that because then it's going to confuse the whole shebang, right? We've got to keep this simple. We've got to keep it simple. So how are we doing? Someone let me know if you're done and then I'll carry on. I hope that you've got all that. Nice. So let me know that that's all right and you're good and I'll carry on. Especially people I know that are definitely 100% following along like Jean and Jane and Craig. So let me know you're all good. But basically what we're going to do now is we're going to draw each letter or write each letter in each box. Okay. On the subject of dinner, I haven't eaten yet. Oh, you could get like a little snack halfway through. It's quite nice to have a little bit of chocolate when you're doing art. Oh, always fine. It's a nice little, little thing. Chocolate and a cup of tea. Right. Actually, which I have neither of those right now. <laughs> neither of those. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to carry on. So, now, um, what we want to do is we want to write each letter in the boxes. So, with lettering, we're going to do it as uh, close to your handwriting as possible, okay? Because I think that's going to have a really nice style to it, all right? Done. Thank you, Jane. Amazing. Uh, usually with lettering, as a side note, if you ever want to do um, artwork with lettering, the best way really is to print your word off off the computer and then cut it out and use it as a template. But I thought not everyone's got a printer right at these times. So this is why we're doing it like this. Okay. So yes, done the grid. Awesome, Ashley. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So now we're going to write the word. And again, like you don't have to do the word harmony if you don't want to you can do any word you like. So I want you to just write, and when you do each letter, I want you to make sure that each letter is kind of as central to each box as you possibly can get it, okay? As you possibly can. That's the idea, right? So, oh my God, I'm gonna have to press really hard, aren't I? So I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna do it lightly first of all, just because I want to make sure before I do it for you. And you can use, so for the H, so I'm going to go through each letter. Hi, Rishav, how you doing? Welcome, thank you for joining. Uh, what paper are you using? I am using card, actually. It's a very, very thin card. I recommend if you're going to do painting, you want to kind of get really thick paper or thin card or thick card, right? Because otherwise it's going to warp your paper. Okay, so we're going to do the H. Now, for these lowercase letters, what we're going to do is we're going to work in the, the lower section of each box, right? So that they all kind of like look correct, all right? So I kind of write 
I write my A's like this, and you might not, you might write your A's like this, which is absolutely fine. Can you see that? If you write it like that, it's fine. You just write it the way that you write it, okay? Don't worry, and just try and keep it in the center of the box, all right? Like this. And try and keep them, oh, see, I'm gonna do this a bit wider. Try and keep them a similar distance from each other, right? Because chances are that your writing is actually really nice and we want to kind of accentuate that. If you think you haven't got nice handwriting, just take this bit really, really slowly, okay? Okay, thank you. It's my pleasure. Just finished sharing your stream everywhere. Show Enough Studio. Thank you, Halo from Show Enough Studio. Hi, sweetheart. How you doing? I'm so glad I just popped in just soon to say hello. I hope you saw me. I didn't like stay long enough for you to like hear or see that I said hello. So I hope you saw that I said hello. Uh, yeah, so then we're going to do the O. And if you're kind of, it doesn't matter too much. But if you start with um, touching the top, you might want to touch the top with everything, with every letter. But if you don't touch the top, then don't with every letter. Does that make sense? Try and keep some kind of harmonious balance with these letters, right? And then we're going to make them thicker, okay? So let's get the next one in. So really all you're trying to do is just keep this distance similar. I mean, mine aren't all similar. Can you see that? Mine actually aren't all that similar. Because it's, it's tricky to do lettering, like really perfect. So you're just doing what you can do. We're just doing our best. With the letter Y, I think it's really good to do the top part first. And then you're going to bring, now this is super fun, you're going to bring the bottom of the Y and you're going to curl it out into your sun, right? And I'm going to go a bit wild and I'm going to go all the way out here because I think it'd be fun, right? Why not? So I'm going to go all the way, all the way and I'm going to come around here. So with this one, I didn't... My son was quite small with this, but my son in this one's a bit bigger. So I've gone a bit crazy. I've gone, woo! With my... <laughs> uh, really loving the process that you're doing. Oh, thank you so much, Michelle. That's amazing. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. Uh, so then finally, we're going to do the exclamation mark. So just don't worry about this, all right? Don't worry. Just do your best. Doesn't matter, all right? Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Then with the exclamation mark, obviously that's not gonna be very wide because it's just like that. And then I'm gonna put the little kind of circle in the bottom, but I might change that. So you've got something like this. No, it's fun, whoop, whoop. So you've got something like this happening, right? You just wanna make sure that it looks harmonious and balanced in your lovely block, right? And that's it. That's all you gotta make sure, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna extend each line, right? We're gonna extend each line. So if you're not currently in the chat, why don't you subscribe to the channel and come on in the chat, come on in, sign in. Come and have a chat with me and everybody and join in the fun, right? And if you are signed in, why don't you subscribe? That would be amazing, thank you. Uh, hi, it's Lachlan from the allotments and it's my birthday tomorrow. Hi Lachlan, <laughs> how's it going? Happy birthday for tomorrow. Hopefully we should see you actually, hopefully. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so we've got those lovely letters done there. All right, so now we're gonna extend the letters. Now, you've got to decide from the outset, are you going to do your letters kind of like blocky and straight or are you going to do them a bit kind of curvy 
or are you going to do them a bit kind of like ribbons which is a bit more kind of like flowy so kind of just think in your mind now am I going to do it straight or am I going to do it more kind of curvy like almost like bubble writing now the way I'm going to do it is pretty straight okay so I'm going to show you how to do it so it looks nice and blocky okay thanks that's my pleasure so what we're going to do is you're just going to simply extend each line that you've done and you're just going to make it a bit wider right so i'm hoping that you're going to be able to see this quite clearly what you want to do is when you're extending them try and keep now this is i guess slightly tricky but you want to try and keep each uh width of each section of your letter a similar thickness and you're just going to do that by eye you have no reason to measure that at all right so what I'm going to do first of all, and I'm going to press lightly first of all, and then press a bit heavier just because I want to make it look nice, <laughs> okay? So bear with me. So I'm just going to extend this to make it wider, right? And then I'm going to get either side of my H and I'm going to extend this. And I'm going to use my box, especially for the H, I'm going to use the top of the box as the top and the bottom lines of the H, if that makes sense. All right? So hopefully, I'm going to press super hard, so hopefully you can see this super clearly. But all I'm doing is I'm just extending that out. I hope you can see that all right. What you can do, if you don't want it like perfectly straight with the box, you can give it a little flick like this on the top and on the bottoms which i really want to do i'm gonna make mine like have a little flick um i'm gonna actually hold this up a little bit to the camera so you can see can you see i mean it's so small can you see that little flick that i've done there i don't know if you can see it but it's basically if i turn this over i'll tell you what let me just do it really huge right say this is the h what I've done is I've just extended each of the lines like this. And then I've just done like a little wave at the top and the bottoms like that. You should be able to see that. So that's the kind of style I'm going for. If you don't want to do like a little wavy flick, don't do a little wavy flick, right? Just keep it straight or curve it like over like an arch if you want to. Just keep it consistent. Keep it consistent over all the letters. So whatever you decide to do now is what you're going to choose to do on the next one, right? So if you've got a little flick here on top of this, you're going to have to do that on all the letters. So if you don't want to do that, just keep it straight. Does that make sense? Let me know that that makes sense in the comments. And let me know if you don't know what I'm talking about as well. <laughs> <laughs> watching some drag race youtube list in the background while i watch awesome love it keep that motivation going right love it love it love it okay i'm gonna go on to the a and i'm gonna do the same thing again i'm just like kind of working parallel but this time i'm gonna go inside so i'm gonna go the inside of my a because i've done that kind of like funky little a like that like that <laughs> and then I'm just going to extend now this one I'm going to probably go on the top because it's easier always choose the easy option and you're going to extend that out so you're just keeping that same width oh now I wish I didn't have to press so hard but I'm doing it for you guys because I want you to see I hope you can see that clearly and then I'm going to do that little flick so the same little flick that I did on there is the same one I'm doing on the edge, the two ends of the A. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So I'm just going to erase this. And I'm going to do my little flick. Little flick, little flick, little curve, little curve. I feel like I want to bend it out a little bit as well. So I'm going to bend it out a little bit. Well, it's really hard to do now that I've gone so hard, but press so hard rather. All right. So let me know how you're getting on. 
okay then I'm going to go on to the next letter I'm going to do the same thing so you see how now that I've just gone above that line above that center line with my A I'm going to bear that in mind for the other letters I want to try and get them up to meet that one so they all look a bit similar so if you go outside the lines doesn't even matter you just got to kind of go with the flow and be like okay so now that's what I've got to do a little bit for the other ones so can you see I'm just extending that making parallel lines and then I've got my little wiggly ends because why not why not have a little bit of a wiggle you know what I, <laughs> you know what I mean all right next letter next letter now this now now that I'm looking back at this a I think my a needs to be a bit wider I'm gonna make it a tiny bit wider so it matches the other one a bit better all right so we're gonna go all the way all the way all the way and this one actually is gonna come right to the edge of my box and here now with the M what you got to do is you got to make sure that M in the center of the M comes out as wide as the rest so you're gonna have to add that little bit on the inside you see that that little kind of curve and then down into the M right curve and then down that center part and then again you're gonna do your little wiggles who knew that we were gonna do little wiggles today who would have thought it? All right, we've got wiggles. We're wiggling. We're wiggling, we're wiggling. So yeah, make sure that you send me photographs of your work when you're done. I would love to see. You can send them to any one of my social medias. I am mostly on Instagram and Facebook. So please, please send them to me. You can send them to me in a private message. Whatever works for you. I'd love to see. It makes it so rewarding when people send pictures of what they've done. I think, oh my God, I've done a good job today. <laughs> do the wiggle. Uh, uh, do the wiggle. Uh, uh. How are you doing, guys? Where are you at? where are you at now you've got to decide do i need to do this one i'm going to think i'm going to do this one in the inside because the outside's going to make it too wide so that's what you've got to think now you're on the o you're going to be like should i do the make the line thicker on the inside or the outside you've got to make that choice like what looks right for yours might be slightly different to mine right depending on your handwriting okay we're looking good we're looking good i'm just going to carry on to the end of the word because why not so we're going to do the n we're just making this a bit wider now i'm going to come under for here so under this section here gotta make sure i put my little wiggle i'll oh, miss my little wiggle up here <gasps> don't miss the wiggle so this is your eraser should be your friend right now you should be like constantly kind of just going back and forth and making sure that it's like looking nice right and then we're going to do the Y I'm going to double check now most of my letters are just above actually this one maybe I'm going to need to get this one just above that line using them guidelines using them guidelines and then the Y I'm going to do on the inside here looking nice how's yours going and then for this funky long I've done a really long squiggly Y let me know if you've done a squiggly Y I'm gonna do my little wiggle at the end first and then I'm gonna run this parallel and I'm trying to keep this the same width as all of these right I've got it in my mind's eye I'm looking I'm being really careful 
to try and get this the same width, right? Same width, same width. And then finally, a lovely exclamation mark. And I might even just go over the box for this just a little bit because it's like an exclamation mark it's like a pow at the end so i'm just gonna come out of the box for that i'm happy how does yours look let me know let me know i'm gonna erase all these um guidelines now so as soon as you've done your word, erase those guidelines. Get them out of the way. Get them out of the way. You don't need them anymore. Right? Erase, erase, erase. So let me know in the comments when you've done your word. And we're just going to erase all the bits you don't want right erase 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 and i might even make this little bit of the h just a little have a little gentle curve as well little gentle curve So because I press so hard, as I keep saying, you're not going to quite see, uh, no, you're, you are going to see all my guidelines, but that is just life. That is just life. And we've done our words amazing amazing so let me know how you've got on drop me a comment let me know how it's going um i think it's looking beautiful we're doing really all right so let's do it let's do it all right so we're gonna do a lotus flower around here now if you've done a really kind of like curvy wiggle of a Y. Oh, you're colouring the letters. Oh, amazing. Go for it, Jean. Why not? Why not? Um, I've done this really big wiggle, so I've got to kind of put my lotus flower a bit over here. So what you might want to do is just kind of like give yourself a bit of a guide, guide circle oval where you're going to put your lotus flower in. So just really lightly and really roughly, I'm going to draw like a kind of a little mini circle, right? And I am going to not erase this. Actually, I was about to, but I'm not going to erase that. I might erase it a little bit. <laughs> I'm not, I am, I'm not, I am. I am, I'm going to erase it a little bit. You want just sort of like a little area that you're going to put your lotus flower inside, okay so just to give yourself an idea of where it's going so in this one as you can see it's kind of more central but now in this one i'm doing it sort of off to the side a bit and it doesn't really matter either one is good uh hasn't quit come out like your work not sure what you're trying to say there can you reword that so i understand um let me know reword it let me know all right so I'm gonna walk you through how to do the easiest lotus flower you've ever done in your whole life. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, so first things first is you are going to draw. Now everything is kind of like a petal. Actually, you might wanna get a scrap piece of paper because everything you're gonna do is kind of like this kind of shape like a petal kind of shape. You're gonna do variants on this, all right? Variants on this. If you wanna have a little practice, like do some kind of eye shapes, some kind of leafy shapes, kind of this kind of thing, right? This is what we're gonna do. So if you wanna have a little quick practice, 
yeah it's going to be leafy kind of beautiful shapes like this all right always good to have a little practice if you want to so what we're going to do is we're going to do that central petal first and we're going to draw it i'm going to do it a bit lightly first hold on bear with me while we do this kind of that is the main sort of petal shape hold on i'm going to erase it i'm going to do it again something like that right in the middle so you're going to do something like that whack bang in the middle all right so just one like little petal is happening and then you're going to do the two petals on the outside so you're going to do these two petals next all right so be easy with yourself don't be hard on yourself do you know what i mean it's never going to look perfect don't even worry about it we're going to draw like two petals either size and they're kind of a similar size to this one on either side now if you had tracing paper you could use tracing paper for this couldn't you and if you wanted to get like the exact petal but we're not worrying about that we're not worrying about that and can you see i've done mine quite big the reason i'm doing it as big as i can is so you guys can see it really clearly right so we've got three petals like this. You can join that up if you want to. So we've got like the centre one and then we've got two coming out the sides. Right? So centre, have a practice if you're not sure. Have a practice. So we're going to go centre. We're going to do one coming out that way. We're going to do one coming out this way. They're never going to look like exactly the same. Right? And then we're going to do these two here on either side. And with this one, you're going to do like a curve on the bottom. So I want you to do almost like a semicircle coming down and going something like that. Right? something like that so you've got kind of like a curve actually that looks really messy hold on let me see if i can do that a bit neater if you do it like really sketchy as well it doesn't matter you know don't try and make like one perfect line the first time you know if you do lots of little lines it's absolutely fine right then or best put the back my circle back in and then all you're going to do is kind of at the bottom here, you're going to kind of just sort of do a little wave from under here to the end, like this, like a little whoop. And you're going to do the same on the other side, like a little wave. And then you've got this kind of cute little thing. And what I want to do is I'm going to do like a little just a little archway here. So I'm changing that into a bit of an arch, just to give it a bit of a bit of groove, bit of a wave, right? I'm back again, welcome back Celeste. And I'm gonna erase that out, all right? So it's kind of looking like that. So you've got your central petal You've got these two, actually you can bring these two like right down if you want to here. Then you've got, you've done your big smile or a big curve and then you've done like another two little curves out of there. Right, so you've got this kind of like five petal shape happening and that's the basis of your shape. Once you've got that down, that's beautiful. Like once you've got that, you're absolutely home and dry with this shape. That is the most important thing. So if you're going to spend any kind of extra time, 
you want to do that, right? And in hindsight, I probably would have done mine just a little bit smaller. But it's really good because you guys can see it clearly. All right. So I hope that's coming on all right. Then once you've done that, you're going to do the three petals at the bottom. Now, again, if you want to have a little practice, you're going to do like a central petal here. And then you're going to pop two on the outside. Are you going to paint it with us? Of course. We're going to be done with this drawing in five minutes. And then we're going to start painting. Well, maybe ten minutes max. Right? So we're going to do this central bottom petal. And then we're going to do the two that come out. I love it. Thank you, sweetheart. I don't think you were here at the beginning when I said about what this means. This is a special lockdown painting that I thought that we could put in our homes and focus on the harmony that we are trying to find in our lives right now. The sunshine represents the outer expression of ourselves and the lotus flower represents the inner. And together we're in harmony, right? I had to go for a second, but my kids start to go, oh, no problem, no problem. I'm glad you're back. Thank you for coming back. Um, so with this lotus, we are going to do this bottom petal now. What kind of shape is this bottom petal? How can I explain that? It's like a point at the bottom. What kind of shape was that? is that like? Love it. Thank you, Celeste. Oh, that's very sweet. <laughs> well you know oh and let me know as well actually if there's anything that you want me to particularly make or you want to make and you want me to show you how to make or paint or draw let me know again check out my socials just let me know tweet me dm me on instagram or leave me a comment or on facebook on one of my posts leave me a comment I'd so love to know if there's anything specific that you want to do on one of these live streams because I want to do things that you want to enjoy, right? So, final... Oh, no, we've got four more petals to do. So we're going to do... Oh, can you see that that point is at the bottom of that circle there? Right? So that point should be kind of at the bottom. Then we're going to do two little petals coming off. So you've just got to kind of get... Oh! You just got to get a bit sort of relaxed with doing these kind of curvy eye leaf shapes. And like I said, if you practice on a bit of paper, you're going to be fine. And it doesn't matter if they don't match. Oh my God, don't give yourself a hard time, right? We're here to have some fun. We're here to enjoy ourselves. We nearly finished the drawing already. So we're going to go on and paint. Ooh, 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 da, 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 da. Yes, please, a fan for us using Dart Aerobics, right? And that's such a nice idea. A fan is a great idea on so many levels. When it gets hot again, right? Yeah, so in the UK, we had, like, so much nice weather. Literally throughout this whole lockdown, I think it rained, like, maybe once, if any, until, was it yesterday or a couple of days ago, where it just chucked down with rain and it's been raining ever since. Um, I know in California they had the reverse, they had like loads and loads and loads of rain and now it's gone really sunny again. Can we make a 3D flower? Oh yes we can, yes we definitely can. I've got a great 3D flower project. Did you read my mind? Did you read my mind? Alright, so with this lotus flower the last thing we're going to do is put two tiny little petals on the back here. So one, two, one two and that's it the easiest lotus flower in the universe and can you see on this one i've kind of done in the center i've sort of made mine into a little candle can you see that so what you can do if you want you can like either do like a little circle for the center of the lotus and kind of bring the petals into the center here or you can like draw a little flame or something. So it's like, because there's a lot of candle holders that are lotus shaped, right? So I quite like the idea of putting a little bit of a flame in there. So I'm going to do that. I actually haven't done the 3D candle. I've just done a little oval and kind of like a little flame. 
do what you like do what you like and then when you're done you can erase your guide circle out right and you can also erase um, the bit of the sunshine that's gone behind here because you don't need that anymore I mean my lotus flower is massive it's definitely much bigger than I would have done it in normal life <laughs> I'm feeling now like the letters are a little bit this should be a tiny bit smaller but hey ho uh, when it went wrong did uh, did you do a flame did you read my mind maybe maybe i did the flame also echoes the petal shape yeah exactly lovely thank you did you get your shopping away all right <laughs> okay so done 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 with our beautiful lotus flower as a symbol of our inner strength and now we've just got the fun bit to do which is just kind of make the sunshine and it's really up to you you can do some curves you can do some points if you want to do that, just kind of make it super expressive. Like I feel like I need like a bit of an inner circle on mine. So I might, I'm going to draw like a bit of a, an inner circle. I just feel like it kind of needs that. You don't have to do that. And then you just want to give it some, give it some fabulosity. Give it some fabulosity. <laughs> I like the larger lotus. Thank you, Mira. Uh, when did you start learning to be an artist? Oh, when I was a child. Yeah. No, shopping's still half on the floor. <gasps> oh, no, it's so annoying, right? It's so annoying. Let's not even think about it. I can't even think about it. I just, I'm really, I'm feeling for you right now. I can't think about shopping. It's just too frustrating. I've got to think about the harmony. Think about the harmony, Mira. Think about the harmony. <laughs> we got to be in harmony. That's what we're trying to go for, right? Okay, so I'm going to extend these. I'm going to try and do them kind of at an equal distance. But honestly, it really doesn't matter. Don't even worry. Oh, there would be one kind of behind there. So you're just going to do some little kind of like sunshiny kind of flamey type. You can touch the circle. You don't have to touch the circle. Honestly, I want you to kind of do what you want to do here and not feel like constrained by what I'm saying. So um, I look forward to seeing what you do, right? What age? Um, well, I really, really started getting to, into art when I was a teenager, actually. Um, I've been drawing since I was a baby in the 90s. Oh, my God. I was a baby in the 80s. I've put a heart in the middle of my lotus. I love that, Jane. I might put some hearts around here, you know. Sorry, sending that three times. Oh, don't worry, my love. Don't worry. Yeah, I really got into art when I was a teenager. I remember the first piece that I did that I really loved was actually copying. It was a girl on a swing. And I copied it from a magazine. From I think it was just for the mock GCSEs. And I loved it so much. And then I did A-levels. And then I went to university and did all that. Okay. Uh, oh, and on this one, last little finishing touch. Can you see how we got like these little dots going around? So I might just put some little dots. Some little circles. You could use like similar to what we did in another project. You could go around a pen lid. You could yeah make a little template i don't know if i'm gonna do it behind there i'm not sure about that i don't know i fancy doing some circles groceries are upsetting my harmony but you are restoring it i love it thank you so much fun yay whoop 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 very interesting thank you all right so how we doing how we doing are you happy with yours if you're not happy with it what could you do just to change it if you're not happy with it, don't worry about it. And maybe in the paint section, you can kind of just change it up. I'm going to do, um, Jane, you gave me a lovely idea. I'm just going to put a couple of little hearts around. I'm going to put a little heart because I know it makes it cheesy, but I love it. Great minds, Jane. I put one on the end of my exclamation on the harmony. I can't 
wait to see. Da, 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 da. All right, so finishing touches, finishing touches. Grab a little bit of water, have a breather, and uh, let's go and start painting, right? Doing really well. We're halfway through. Fantastic. I mean, you could do some other thing. I mean, you could do loads of things, right? But this is to our project, so let's not make it too complicated. You might want to do something in the center. You could do like a spiral in the center. I don't know. There's so many things you could do. I might just do a few more lines. I don't know. You do what you want to do. Oh, it looks really sweet on there. <gasps> it looks so sweet. It looks so sweet. All right. So finish it off finish it off finish off your drawing erase any of your guidelines like i said i press super hard so you're going to see my guidelines throughout this and they might even show up a little bit through the paint but i don't mind because this is my gift to you so i want you to feel like you can see everything super clearly um and it's it's special to me because i've done it with you ah uh, let's relax <laughs> so Let's get our pencils and all that kind of stuff out of the way. Goodbye. Thank you. If you're using colour pencils now, you can bring in your colour pencils because you can colour this with colour pencils, right? That's totally fine. Um, but if you want to do the painting with me, come do the painting with me. I'm going to bring my little kind of plate here. Um, this is going to be my palette because I have loads of these left over from doing all the kids' parties. I'm going to have my tissue like this so that's just a hand i'm gonna have a bit of tissue around i'm gonna put my um paint on this piece of tissue here can you see it just in frame there you go you can see it just there boop boop there's my paints kind of just on some tissue protecting the surfaces i've got my paint brushes i'm going to keep my water over this side because all my technology is over that side <laughs> don't get water on the technology <laughs> so 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 are you ready have you got all your bits have you got all your things ready for the color now quick word on color while you're getting all your bits i'm going to just spend a couple of minutes or maybe even just one minute talking about color so um i have kept this kind of the yellow and orange sunshine to represent you know warm colors and all that kind of stuff to represent the sun pretty basic and simple right i've used green for the word harmony because of nature nature really connects me to my inner peace and my inner tranquility and even my outer peace and radiance as well so green is something i really really want to include on this artwork so that's why i'm going to do green lettering but you don't have to you can do whatever you like and then the lotus flower is kind of like pinky purpley generally in real life but again you can do whatever you want to you could do uh, just purple or pinks you could do red you could do blue blue would actually look really nice it's up to you all right so don't feel restricted by what i'm gonna do you do what you want to do you do you right i'll do me you do you that's the most important thing so we're going to do the sunshine first because we want to do the thing that's the biggest item we definitely just want to get that circle done and then we can go over the top and do our words so the way we're going to do it is circle then the lettering, then the lotus, and then the rest. Right? And we it's just going to be loads of fun. <gasps> I'm excited. Are you excited, guys? <laughs> I love painting. I love it. All right. So I am going to choose my thickest brush because my circle is really huge. I am going to put all my other paintbrushes out of the way. And I'm going to get some yellow. Now, I just said for this project... All you need is primary colours and black and white. I don't even think I'm going to use black, actually. Uh, and I'm just going to mix it slightly, like to get some lighter and darker colours. But I just want you to see, really, when you squeeze out your paint, and don't squeeze out too much, uh, when you squeeze a blob out, just have a look at what kind of, if you're using yellow like me, what kind of yellow it is i've got a super super warm yellow here so i actually am gonna add some white to it to make it just a little bit lighter i just feel like it's too 
warm it's too much of a deep yellow but really is up to you whatever you want to do right I'm gonna mix that oh it's such a warm deep yellow I might and you want to mix up I would go for quite a big puddle right because we're gonna probably do uh, just go for it and paint the whole thing yellow and we can add some highlights and stuff as we go would wider lettering also work yeah of course you can go there's I mean I was thinking before I did this today I was thinking shall I just double it like with one parallel line or shall I do two so have the central line and then two lines on the either side uh, and it doesn't really matter either one is good I just thought to keep it as simple as I possibly can just do one but you do you whatever you think oh I'm glad you're joining in now yay all right so I quite like this yellow now I'm happy with it so I'm just going to go ahead and paint it and like I said you're going to see my pencil through which is actually quite handy uh for me as I'm teaching so you can see but I would go if you've got options with brushes I would use your thickest brush so you can just block it all in right and then when you get closer to the letters we're going to use a smaller brush so let's just block it all in oh I'm liking this yellow you can leave the outside edge as well and come back to that so just get that kind of nice satisfying feeling of blocking it all in right don't get bogged down by having to do oh I should have erased that a bit more oh I should have erased that a bit more quick get the eraser oh I'm gonna see all the lines through a bit oh never mind never mind let it go Leona all right so I'm gonna get the thickest brush and I'm just gonna go blub 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 and not even worry about going close to the letters for now okay so make sure you've got a nice big load of paint on your brush oh this is such a lovely yellow oh color is just such a joyful thing right and like i said this is a simple easy painting so I don't want to overcomplicate it. I'm not going to do loads and loads of tones of colours and stuff. We're just going to kind of keep it quite nice and basic. And if you want to add things on, you can do that as you see fit, right? So get the chunky bits done so you can feel super happy. Then if you have the option, you can use a thinner brush and you can go around and do the outside edge of the circle all right now you might need to do this a few times but because i've been painting a long time i can pretty much swoop around and get that all kind of in so good oh thanks celeste i'm glad you like it so we're going to go around here so yeah when you're doing the outside edge i would advise using a thicker brush a thinner brush this is a 10. i don't know if you can see that and i don't think you can see that this is a size 10 this brush just in case you're wondering but don't get bogged down in sizes right so outside edge i'm going to need a thinner brush for that Outside edge, outside edge. Best use of paper ever. Lachlan, I can't believe you're still here. Thank you so much. I bet you're playing a game or something. You got me on as well, right? All right, so we're gonna go round. Round, round, round. And then when you've done that, if you're not already on a smaller brush, I'm gonna to go to a smaller brush. Oh, I'm a bit cramped for space here. I'm gonna to have to move my mic a little bit. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, it's true. It is true. So Lachlan, remember, make sure you're at the plot on Thursday. Uh, right, thinner brush. 
make sure you come around. No, what do you mean no? <laughs> All right, get a thinner brush and then we're going to go, I'm going to do this outside edge here because I couldn't quite get it with my big brush and then you're going to use your thinner brush to go around all of the letters now the reason we're doing this is so that you don't have to worry about making a mistake here right because the most thing you have to be super careful of is when you go and paint the letters because obviously you want the letters to be really nice and beautiful it's the central piece of the artwork so by doing the background first you can go over the lines it doesn't really matter right doesn't matter you can just get in there so load up your brush how's yours going jean haven't heard from you for a while oh no you're not gaming i will be sure i will i will be sure there tomorrow awesome <laughs> Oh my God, are you giving this your full attention? Are you making some artwork? That would be amazing. All right. Let's get all this happening. So now we're going around the letters. And like I said, you're gonna see my pencil marks through, but hopefully you're not gonna see your pencil marks through because you press nice and lightly and you're amazing. So we're doing the easiest thing first. This is like the easiest, easiest, easiest. Always start in your painting, start with the biggest section. If, well, if suitable, not always, but if suitable. So now I'm wondering if I could have done my eye a bit bigger, but you know. Say la vie. Here we are doing it. Getting harmonized on the lockdown so don't worry if you haven't got like loads and loads of paint brushes you just make it work don't worry about it just do your best right if you're completely new to painting like the best thing you're doing is what you're doing and that's just giving it a go right uh, what do you give your own painting out of 10? Wow. Now that is a question. I have no idea right now. <laughs> oh, you're painting around the letters as well. Awesome, Jean. Amazing, amazing. So did you paint? You painted the letters first, didn't you? Because I remember you saying that earlier. There is really no right or wrong way. Like whatever you've done is absolutely fine, obviously. But I think it's easier to do the background first and then you can kind of go over the top and you can al always w then wait for it to dry and kind of touch up little bits, right? Oh God, what do I give my painting out of 10? That is the question. What do you give it out of 10? <laughs> maybe I shouldn't ask that <laughs> don't rate your painting before you finished right okay we got that done you're so skilled thank you well, it's a lot of practice I feel very comfortable doing live streaming because I've done it for such a long time as well Oh, quick side note, if you're interested in learning how to draw and paint from the comfort of your own home, can I interest you in my online courses? And check this out, guys. Are you ready? Look at that. Look at that. I'll tell you what. Let's go here for a second. Da, da, da. Artistresource.co.uk forward slash online courses. Learn how to draw, paint, and mosaic from the comfort of your own home. You know you want to. Please go check them out. 
the videos are all done in real time and you can pause them whenever you like, go through the whole thing, go back to it whenever you like. No time restrictions. Do it in your own time, enjoy yourself. So many tips and tricks. I go into things in so much detail in the online courses. So if you're interested in that, please check it out. Right? Da, da, da. Um, you're so skilled. Oh, you're so sweet. Ten. Oh, you're so lovely, Celeste. You're too sweet. Yep, the letters are already coloured. Go, Jean. Twenty-one. <laughs> 21 out of 10. Somehow I think you're lying. <laughs> All right, shall we go on to the letters? Now, you can choose really if you've got a lot of yellow mixed up and there's still a lot of on your palette. I haven't. It might look like on the camera here that I've got loads, but it's all been used. Apart from this blob here, I don't know if I want to do these darker or lighter yet. I'm not quite sure. So I'm going to go straight onto the letters now and I'm going to come back to the sun, all right? Now I'm going to have to put my paints in the water, uh, my paint brushes in the water because I'm using acrylic paints and they dry up. So if you're using acrylic paints, get your paint brushes in the water right now. Don't leave them out. Uh, thank you for teaching. You're, you're very lovely too. Oh, thank you so much. You're so sweet. Uh, let's go on to doing the letters. So get a thin brush, uh, get the thinnest brush. I mean, I've got this brush, which is, I don't know if you can see how thin that one is, but I'm not using the black one. So I'm not going to, that's too thin. I can touch up with that one, but I'm going to use that one, right? I've colored my lotus, woo! I'm using pastel oils, amazing! <gasps> Who would have thought? That's so cool. Yeah, you could totally do this in pastels or whatever you want. Oh, I've gone out of focus a little bit now. Oh, go back in focus, go back in focus. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. Tell you what, hold on, let's do this. Let's get back in focus, there you go. Beautiful, back in focus. All right, green, I wanna mix up a green. I've got some yellow, so I'm gonna add a bit of blue. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. Are you liking yours, Jane, so far? What a great idea, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna mix up a green. I'm gonna make, I don't need too much. And, hmm, do I want a dark green? Now, I'm not kind of crazy about that green. It depends what kind of yellows you've got and what kind of blues you've got to what kind of green you'll get. And I ain't crazy about that green right now. I'm going to see if I'm going to add a bit of white. I've got to go. Have a great stream. Thank you so much, Halo. So lovely to see you, darling. Lots of love. Um, <laughs> going out of the subject, do you hate ironing? Because I do. <laughs> yes, I do. I don't know, actually, the only people that like ironing tend to be uh, people that like things like sewing, right? I presume. But maybe it can be quite relaxing. Maybe you can get into it, right? Mine's very different to yours. Good. I want yours to be different. I want it to be different. It would be so boring if it was exactly the same as mine. And almost impossible, actually. Love it so far. I'm so glad, Jane. Yes. So I'm adding a bit of white and then I'm going back and adding a bit of yellow. I want a bit more of a vibrant green. I've got to say I'm not loving this green. But I've got to make it work and I've got to go for it, right? But it is very much in harmony with this yellow. So... Oh, I'm not kind of crazy on it. Anyway, all right, I'm going to add a tiny bit more yellow and then I'm just going to go for it. Just go, 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 go. Just go, 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 go. Make it a bit more yellow. Oh, yeah, that's a bit better. That's a bit better. All right, I'm going to go for that. It's not my favourite green in the universe. Oh, what can you do, hey? What can you do? These are all the paints I've got right now. I don't have any other options. So this is happening. Okay, let's go. So, using your thin brush, 
let's do these lovely letters I recommend just like with the Sun you kind of get it blocked in first and then oh, I'm really far from the mic I hope you can hear me all right uh, I can vaguely imagine what those people would be like <laughs> what like in ironing right some people love it but I can't imagine that there would be I can't I don't know who knows going off subject again what did you do today <laughs> mostly prepped for this live streaming is very very interesting thing it takes when you've got multiple cameras and multiple lights and mics and things it takes a lot more time than you would think you can't just kind of switch it on you have to do tests and work things out it takes quite a lot of time uh, what did you do today? I'm not crazy about my green. Now I'm thinking I should have done it a bit darker. Because it's... Mm, I don't believe in ironing. <laughs> love it oh see maybe I should have gone up here oh I'm gonna change it to this one. Oh, look I've changed my mind guys I've changed my mind you can change your mind it's your prerogative it's your artwork how we doing oh I best get a guess let's get a wiggle on best get a, get a wiggle on with this all right I'm gonna do this one uh, Certain things do. Oh, okay, well. Each to their own, right? Each to their own. So I'm going to go over this. And I'm going to do this darker green. And what I might do later is kind of use them both and get a bit of a... Uh, get a bit of a two-tone thing happening, but not now. More blue, thank you. Yeah, right. I think that looks much better now. Yeah, because it does depend what blue. I don't want to go into that. I don't want to go into the whole thing about discussing about like the complications of colour and all that kind of stuff. Because now is not the time. We're just going for it. But feel free to change your mind and feel free to like just have a play and mix up colours and just see what works for you. And you know, oftentimes it'll be different every time. Oh, by the way, in my um, online courses, there is another camera angle here. It's all done with DSLR cameras and there's another camera here as well. So you can see like this really close up, which is really great. So it's much higher production value than, than these live streams. Just in case you're interested. So don't worry about the edges. You can come back to the edges if you haven't done it yet. And then while you're kind of doing this, you can be thinking about your lotus and thinking now what is going to look really nice with my lotus. Now I think a pink is going to look really nice with mine. It's interesting that these colours are coming out as really kind of subtle and really harmonious because I'm really into bright colours. And this is coming out more kind of subtle, which is very interesting. Uh, uh, I'm not super into ironing, but sometimes I guess it's necessary, right? Sometimes. Uh, for me, harmony means peace, quiet. What about you? Forgot the question mark. Oh, don't worry about that. Don't worry, I knew that was a question. Uh, peace and quiet, yeah, definitely. To me, it means balance. It means just getting everything 
the way that you want it to be and even if things don't work out the way you want it to be just going with the flow and understanding the process of life and just feeling at peace with it like yeah like you said peace at just feeling happy with it you know that's great what a great thing to be thinking when we're doing this right yeah what does it mean to you okay so i'm gonna get i might even get my ultra thin brush and do those little the little wiggly bits do the wiggle do the wiggle do the wiggles so you're gonna kind of like fix all your little bits if you're painting if you're not painting if you're coloring with pencils or oils like jane uh i would still actually come back to the edges because the edges is what kind of sets everything off it like makes it look kind of professional you can even if you're working in color pencils like my mom and Shredinha, you could do an outline color which would be really nice um, I would be wary of black because black can kind of make everything kind of dark and sort of a bit sort of too maybe sometimes too powerful but like the darker version of whatever color you've used is nice just some tips there for me, peace and everything getting along, right? Everyone getting along, everyone being harmonious. We can have different opinions about stuff, but we can be harmonious, right? We can respect people's differing opinions. All right, so let's get these little wiggles done. And then we are on... Can you see how each of the edges of the letters just sets it off, right? And if you make the letters too thick, then you can just wait till it dries and then get the yellow and go over it and touch up the edges, right? Uh, mine are like uh, oil pastel crayons, super cool colours. Now I love that. Oil pastels are beautiful. You can scratch into it, actually. You can get like a the back of a biro or an old biro or something sharp like scissors or something and kind of like work into it which is really fun and actually you know you can use oil pastels on top of photographs which looks amazing so if you have like old photographs or if you like i was gonna say see some old photographs at an antique market but no one's going to an antique market now are they Because you might not want to do it on your own photos. Back back in the day when we used to go to the to the shop and get our photos printed, who remembers that? We used to get all excited about getting photos printed. Did they come out? Did they come out? All right, I think I'm nearly done. How's yours coming on? I mean, I really, really want to add some other things to it, but I'm just not going to. Oh, I forgot the exclamation mark. Hello? Uh, with the arms with the arms but I was not focusing it's really good though what's that did I miss what you said sorry okay I'm happy with that for now I mean like I said if I was doing this on my own I would do loads more on it but I'm not gonna step away step away and know when you're done <laughs> she says <laughs> it's really good though thank you all right 
Step away, step away. I feel like my oh, I'm gonna do something crazy here and I'm gonna do a little flick on my O. Oh. Cause why not? I need to fill that little gap. Don't forget your little wiggles if you did that. All right, let's leave it, Leona. Back away, back away. Back away, we've got to do the lotus. All right, have you decided what colour you're going to do your lotus flower? Have you decided? I think I am going to do pink. Um, because I think it's going to kind of balance really nicely. Just giving my brushes a wash. A little bit of sound effects. All right. <laughs> okay, I did all that and now I'm just going to get another brush. All right, so pink, pink, pink. How do you make pink? You make pink by red and white mostly white only a tiny bit of red so get that squeezed out on your plate and i'm just gonna do a block like you can see here i've like done different shades and stuff or different tones but i'm just gonna do it blocky i think to start with and then just see how much time we got and add on more as we got as we check on the time right so first of all i would get like a medium or small brush and block in get a nice pink that you like i kind of usually like a bit deeper pink and get that blocked in so again i would just kind of do the thickest sections and then get another paintbrush and go around the edges. Get a thinner paintbrush and go around the edges, right? So I'm just gonna get mine all blocked in. Are you feeling harmonious, harmonious? I like the Y on it, thank you. Yeah, I thought I'd go a bit like, woo, a bit out there with the Y. Get a bit curvy. Get a little bit curvy. I'm going to do the centre of that flower a little bit. Uh, yellow, probably. All right, I need a smaller brush. Boop. I love it. I like and feel you guys. You've just all gone in the zone now, right? You are in that zone, getting it all grooving. Ashley, are you still here? How's it going? If you're still here, let me know. Let me know how you're getting on. I'm going to get my smallest brush and just do those edges. Edges, edges, edges. Oh, and then I'm going to go round. So, yeah, so just as a rule, do the uh, use a bigger brush, do all the biggest, largest, thickest sections first. Then work down and do a smaller brush like that. Then I'm going to mix. Yes, painting my letters. Amazing, Ashley. Amazing. Are you doing green or a different colour? I mean, I've got to add another, another light green to that. Can't have it that flat. All right. So I'm mixing a darker pink here and I'm going to use this for like the kind of darker parts on the lotus. Okay. 
keeping all your brushes in the water remember guys and then I'm gonna use this darker color and I'm just gonna paint in the sort of center bits of the petals so I'm gonna leave the tips a lighter pink I might even do another pink I might even do a red but yeah feel free to ask me anything mine's done gotta take the dogs out oh my god have a lovely walk um so i sent you a pic thank you so much yeah it was fab i'm so glad you enjoyed it uh i can't wait to see yeah oil pastels are really fun because they're kind of like really expressive and you just go yeah 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 um amazing enjoy thank you so much for joining and i'll see you real soon get this lotus get the bottom of this so i'm kind of doing like the the base of each petal in like this darker pink and maybe that should be left because that would be this central petal here would be left lighter and then I'm just going to do this darker pink behind the flame and then I might just do one darker pink which is going to almost be a red Let's get this. I like my blouse oh thank you thank you so much yeah let's get a bit of a darker one so can you see i'm mixing with the bigger brush it's a bit easier and then going in with the light no going in with the inner one i'm just going to do a little bit on here i'm not going to do much because otherwise we'll be here all night and this is supposed to only be two hours so amazing what you could get done right it's only been an hour and a half and i was talking for the first 10 minutes so it's been less than that it's been just over an hour i'm going to do some like darker bits under here just to kind of accentuate the edge of the petals here so on the bottom bit bottom edge of the petal so if you're using coloring pencils get like the darkest color of that or if you haven't got one don't <laughs> if you haven't got one then you can't <laughs> so you can't use black i'm thinking you could possibly use gray you could try it you could try it right and then i feel like i need like a tiny tiny bit of super light pink on the edges and then I'm gonna move on because we need to get on to the next bit right so I'm just doing some sort of little highlights just to make that really pop oh that looks quite nice not so keen on this bit and if you keep all your like puddles of color you can go back and use ones like if you don't make a mistake or you change your mind you can just go over it all right i'm happy with that i'm happy with that are you happy with yours how is yours coming on let me know how it's going all right so i am going to oh actually maybe i could do the hearts actually i might do the little hearts with this darkest pink now that i've got it oh why not why not continue using the same color right i 
few little hearts for fun. Ooh, gotta make that bigger now. If you make a mistake, just make it bigger. Doesn't matter. I should have used a bigger brush actually. I'm using a right tiny brush. Why am I using such a small brush? Okay, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. How is yours going? Let me know in the comments when you get a minute. When you finish a section. And if you're watching this on the replay, how's it going? I hope you're pleased with it so far. But if you're not, don't worry. Just keep on going. Just keep on going, right? So I am going to now do the outside of my sunshine and I'm going to use the yellow that's coming out the tube. I'm not going to like change it in any way. I'm going to keep it the way it is. I'm going to get actually a square brush for this just for fun. I would get whatever medium brush you've got. And I'm going to do my outsides of my sunshine. And I think I am going to add a bit of orange. I need to get this out of the way, actually. I need this sort of arm space here. So, oh, there's a bit of water coming through here. Oh, I need to clean my brush a bit more. Hold on, excuse the arm. Excuse the arm. Okay, so, outsides. Woo! And I think I'm going to join it up now, actually. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I was looking forward to this bit because it's like super nice and expressive when you get here. And you might need to turn this around. And kind of, I'm going to go over my pencil because if I'd have pressed really lightly, it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to go off my page here. Woo! Oh, that's fine. I'm going to make this one a bit thicker as well. Yay! So coming in for the final kind of expressive bits. So guys, if you're really enjoying this, what I would love you to do is um, share this stream with somebody. Share this stream with someone that you know that would really, really love it. That would be so amazing. Um, go on to Facebook, go on to Twitter, go on to Instagram and share this on your social media. If you really enjoyed it, I would really, really appreciate that. Because it's always fun getting more people to come along and join in. And while you're there, why don't you go ahead and follow me on your favourite social media, whether that's Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. I'm on there at Artist Resource. And yeah, I would love you to come on over. And there you can send me... Um, examples of your work right i'm gonna spin this round a little bit now it's really easy when you're like doing other sections uh and you're instead of trying to dodge the wet paint just move your piece of paper around right So yeah, share this stream with somebody. Or a few people, would be amazing. And you can watch all the replays as well. All the replays are up. So if you're stuck for something to do on the lockdown and you're like, oh my God, what am I gonna do today? Come and make something with us. All the projects feature um, materials that you might already have at home and I always give options for using different materials like for example today it was a painting but you could have just have coloured it with colouring pencils and it would just be as amazing as painting so there's always an option 
Oh, and the other thing, if you would like to know the, uh, oh, I'm gonna have to go to this one. If you would like to know the project in advance, I send out a newsletter and every week I outline the project we're gonna do and I say the materials that we're gonna use. So if you wanna be notified every week of what project we're gonna do a few days in advance, then go to artistresource.co.uk forward slash newsletter, sign up to the newsletter and I'll send you an email and have everything listed out so you can be extra prepared, right? Because I know some of you love being extra prepared. So if you like that, do that, right? Do that. Because I don't mention it anywhere else. Only in my newsletter. Ooh, it's looking nice. I think I'm going to do those little dots in that darker yellow and then I'm going to spend the last like 10-15 minutes at the most kind of just adding some highlights and stuff. How good! We could do it in a whole two hours. Drawing for an hour or just a little, no 45 minutes. Drawing for 45 minutes and then painting for an hour, right? How good. How, how good. Right, let's do all these little dots. Little circles. Do, 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 do. And if you're someone who finds it like difficult to like be held accountable, like you want to do stuff and then you're like, oh, but I got distracted. You know, these live streams are really great because you actually kind of like have the time. You put that time down in your diary because even though we're all at home, there's always a distraction, right? There's always something happening. So you kind of need to like block time. Oh, I'm definitely going to put some orange in the middle there. Oh, I wish I'd have raised that. Never mind. Never mind, never mind. All right, I'm going to spin it round. Excuse me while I spin. Da 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 da. Amazing what you can do in a couple of hours. All right, I am going to add, I'm really liking that. I'm liking it, but I think it could just have a bit more action happening. So I'm gonna mix up a bit of an orange because I am just the lover of orange. And I'm gonna mix up a little bit of orange, so red and yellow. And we'll have to do it out of the lights a bit. Is that a nice orange? Yeah. All right. Okay. And I'm going to kind of just put some little bits. Oh, it looks a bit pinky. Hold on. Hold on. More yellow required. More yellow. And it's the sign of a good paint. Like if you get your colors mix super super well it's a sign of a really good paint and if your colors don't mix so well it's a sign of a not of a great paint right okay I'm gonna mix this I think there was some white in it so I'm gonna mix this over here doing really really well hang in there Oh, that's better. Yeah, I think there was some white in that. Oh, I need some more yellow. I need some more yellow in my life. Yellow just makes you feel so good, right? Yellow, surround yourself with yellow. If you feel a bit sad, surround yourself with some yellow. 
Okay, can you see here how I've like kind of got all these tones of orange happening? That's going to really, really help me out. It can make me like have different choices. So all I'm going to do is sort of just do some sort of brush strokes kind of coming out of each of the, similar to the technique I used on the lotus actually, just like some brush strokes coming down, oh I've got too much paint on my brush. I hope you're feeling nice and harmonious. Spinning, spinning, spinning. Did you know just watching someone make some art can make you feel relaxed? It's scientifically proven. So even if you don't feel comfortable to make it along with me, if you come and watch and get some inspiration, you will just feel better. How good is that? Scientifically proven. Love it. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of orange in these. Oh yeah, that's coming alive now. That is coming alive. So last, now we how long we got? Oh, about seven minutes. So last few minutes, gonna be like just highlighting things. I feel like I need some light. I feel like I kind of need a bit of more light in the middle of my sunshine. So I'm going to mix up a bit of white with this yellow. So mostly white. I'm going to get, oh actually should I do a bit more dark first? Actually while I've got this on my brush, let me just do a tiny bit of dark in there. Bit of, bit of, bit of pop. Yeah, that's looking a bit better. All right, so how are we doing guys? Let me know, we're coming into the final stages now, the final, final stages. We've done so well. I'm gonna get some light, some light yellow happening. I'm gonna get quite a big brush, I think, actually. I'll tell you what, before I do that, maybe I'm gonna just do a little bit on the tips. So a little bit of the lightest yellow on the tips of these rays of the sun, for fun. And then I wanna get, I'm gonna go, oh, I said I was gonna get a big brush, I'm not. I'm gonna keep a little brush. And I'm gonna just go round the outside of my sun and just lighten it up. Tammy, how you doing? Welcome, how are you? I'm so late. I was outside with my boy jumping in muddy puddles. Oh, that sounds fun. This looks beautiful, thank you. Oh, you just caught us, last five minutes. Last five minutes, sounds like you've been having a lovely day. So we've done all this in like less than two hours because I talk at the beginning for like 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. So we've done this in like an hour and 45 minutes really. I feel like I need to get lighter, 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 lighter. Thank you so much for your lovely compliment. How's all your art coming on? Let's get lighter. And I'm going to do some lighter green on my word harmony and then I'm finished. Ooh. Right. I want to really get this light. Can you see that? Ah, you can see that a bit better. 
I want some. I want some light yellow happening. Let's get some, excuse me, let's get some radiance happening. Might even make it a little bit thicker. Oh, I've gone over my A. Didn't mean to do that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good. We've had fun today. So this painting, Tammy, is all about being in harmony because I thought how important right now that we find ways to be harmonious. I don't know if we've ever collectively gone through something like this before and how nice to like have some art to kind of remind us about the important things, right? How's that looking? Big brush, big brush, big brush. I'm gonna sort of, sort of, sort of, sort of do something. Sort of brush it out a bit. Brush it out. Yeah. Something like that it needs needs more lightness. Needs more lightness. I might even make the whole thing a bit lighter actually. Yeah, that's better. That's better. That's better. And then what I'm gonna do is so I've. To do this technique, I've kind of just got like a little bit on my brush and it's quite dry and I'm just kind of, I keep looking there because there's the comments. Uh, it's quite dry, so it's like you can get, kind of spread it around a bit, if you know what I mean. I hope you know what I mean. Finish main painting, gonna let it dry and then gonna add high and low lights. Brilliant tutorial, Leona. Thank you so much, Ashley. Thank you for being here, my love. I'm so glad you've had fun amazing amazing can't wait to see please do send on some of the socials whichever one probably facebook right send it to me send me a message i'm back <laughs> jade's back we're on the last few minutes i'm back i did floating hearts too yay i mean this could definitely have some more floating hearts that's for sure I've kind of gone a bit wild with my sunshine. I've kind of put some sort of highlights in there. I wanted to make it a bit more happening, right? I'm like, I don't care if I'm here for an extra five minutes. I've got to make it happening. The last few minutes is kind of make or break with the painting, but I do suggest you do what Ashley's done if you're not sure, and that is stop and come back to it. Because oftentimes you can get a bit carried away at this stage and be like, I've got to do it all. And then you make a mistake or, you know, not oh, I view it as a mistake, but you might view something as a mistake and then you can't rectify it and then you get stressed and we don't want to be stressed. <sighs> we don't want to be stressed. We want to be harmonious. Harmonious. Love your lotus so much. Thank you. I mean, it was quick. Oh, actually, I've got to put a bit of this. I've got to put a bit of this other orange in it. It was quick, but the most important thing is I'm here to teach you guys. So I can't get fussed and worried about it, right? There you go. All right. I'm going to just put a little bit of highlights on my letters and I'm done. So I reckon about two more minutes. And we're done. A bit of harmony. Now I've still got, amazingly, even under these lights, um, my green here hasn't dried, which is amazing. So I'm going to use this kind of light green here. And I'm just going to sort of do a little bit of highlighting just to make it pop a bit more. 
So I'm doing it as, as if I'm imagining that the letter is has got a highest point. And so I'm kind of doing it almost in the middle. Like where the original line was. Right? That's what I'm kind of doing. I need to get the darkest green and put that back on as well. But this is going to give it a bit of depth. We've got to have a bit of depth, right? We've got to have a little bit of depth happening. I'm not worrying about it too much. I'm not trying to do the perfect thing. Please, please, please don't try and be perfect because it spoils the fun. Spoils the fun out of it all. Little bit of highlighting in my life. That's really hard because everything is still wet and I'm kind of, I haven't got my hands like on the surface of the paper. What well, I have just now actually. <laughs> but it's really hard to do like a curve when you like got your hand floating in the air. Anyway, I'm going to come back and I'm going to put a bit more of that dark on and then I am done. Gee, thank you, thank you, Leon. We'll send my Fanta Orange Sun to you tomorrow. I can't wait to see it. <gasps> so, so glad you've enjoyed yourself. We've had loads of fun, right? We have had loads of fun. I'm just going to touch this bit up. I reckon I'm going to be like one more minute guys and then i'm done oh should i put a bit of highlight on my on my exclamation mark i should really shouldn't i So are you pleased with yours? Are you pleased with it? If you're not pleased with it, what could you do differently next time? Because everything's just learning, isn't it? So like, always kind of evaluate the process that you've just been through. Like, what did you like about it? What didn't you like about it? What could you do next time? What would you like to try next time? All those kind of questions are super, super, super good. I think I'm done. I just got to put my little highlight in here. Boop, boop, boop. Oh. Uh, uh. How's that? Oh, you can hardly see the highlight of the camera. After all that, I can't really see it on there oh that's so funny you guys can't really see it what about if i do it with super light hold on you see that oh yeah let's do a little bit of this oh you can see that little bit of highlight in my life just a tiny bit just for fun going forever right you could just keep going forever and ever but the purpose of this is to just have a bit of fun go for it let go don't worry and life is good right life is good
I am finished. <laughs> Avery singing Mambo number five now, right? <laughs> I can't sing it for obvious reasons, but I can do my own version of it. That's for sure. <laughs> A little bit of harmony in my life. Well, I mean, I'm happy. I'm happy. How are you guys? How did yours come out? There's my finished one. She said she started singing it first. How strange. <gasps> How funny is that? Art always makes me want to have a little sing song. Do you know what I mean? Like I always kind of want to just have a little groove and a little dance. I feel really happy. So there's my final harmony painting. I'm happy with it. I kind of like the two little hearts as well. It's kind of cute. Please do check out my online courses. If you're interested in learning how to draw and paint with me, they're super fun. Three camera angles. It is amazing. Have a look at those if you're interested in that. Oh, and mosaic as well. I won't ever do mosaic on the live stream. So that is the only opportunity to get that. So check that out and also have a look and sign up to the newsletter artsresource.co.uk forward slash newsletter if you want to find out the project in advance because some people love to be super prepared. I am one of those people. So if you like to be super prepared, please sign up for that and you'll get a newsletter every week telling you what's happening. Do you know what I mean? And also finally... Just get in touch with me via one of my social medias, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, and send me your artwork because I would absolutely love to see your artwork. It makes me feel so good in these times to see what you've been doing and to see that like what I'm offering is making a difference in your life in a small way. So thank you so much for joining. It was so lovely to have you. I hope you will find a little bit of harmony in your life, a little bit of harmony in your life, um, through doing this artwork or through other means. I just hope you find some harmony in your life, right? Um, <laughs> God, I'll be honest, I hate that song. <laughs> well, you can't please everyone, right? <laughs> We've dipped in and out today, so no artwork this end, but it's been enjoyable as ever. Oh, that's absolutely fine. It was so lovely to have you coming in, so that's great. Um, and don't feel pressured to send me if you do it another time you want to watch the replay and do it in your own time don't feel pressured to send me like what you've done uh, that's just amazing extra if it's possible um, love it oh no <laughs> oh no find the harmony thank you so much for joining it was lovely to have you here I will see you next Wednesday same time 7 p.m uk time if you check out my socials you'll find that i do have like a little kind of image that says the times in the us uh, but you can always just convert the time right can we not sing that song again <laughs> it's the end of the stream so i'm not gonna <laughs> but we had to laugh anyway right we had to laugh we had a little giggle we had a little giggle and a little wiggle <laughs> All right, guys, it was lovely to see you. Thanks so much for joining. Uh, check out the other streams on the replay and check out my online courses. And I'll see you real soon. Take care. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. See you later, guys. Lots of love. <laughs>